Uh, where are we in the tournament? It's this uh, is the round of eight. eight. Round of eight. Dao to already won against Dugao, now against the seeded Mr. Yo. First map is Arabia. And we are looking um, into pick civilization without Hans, Mayans, and, and Aztecs. Indeed. Top three are banned, but then they can pick whatever they want out of the remainder. But that's only for game one. In the rest of the games, you can pick whichever sieve you like. So now we are starting in the south here in the blue trunks, unless we have friend four colors on. No, we don't. Uh, Mr. Yo playing with the Celts here. And Doubt went for Tiff Choice I've not seen yet. He went for Mongols. Most yeah. players actually went for Celts, some went for Britons. Yeah, Mongols is a bit of a strange choice because other than their really fast feudal age, they don't really have any other bonuses until they get to Imp when they get Mangadai. Did so Doubt just take his start board with his own yeah. scouts? Oh, I, I believe so. Oh, no, no, he must have stolen the ball because he has one out to the right. Oh yeah, okay, okay, so we didn't catch that. That was a very early um, aim. The, the camera actually is at a very weird place here. Let's adjust that a bit. And now we should finally be able to focus on the game here. Alright, so we'll start with Doubt's map. Um, he's got a fairly nice backward line. He's got deers there and a stone as well, which will very, be very helpful once he gets to the late game. Obviously, Mongols want their Mangadai. There's a nice secondary gold, which is walled in by this other forest and the berries. So it's a very easy, safe wall for gold, the forest, straight to the TC. Uh, his main gold, main stone, are pretty unfortunate out to the front, but he does have the seconds out the back, which is fine. Oh, that's messenger. So. That's messenger. Not trying to wall behind his woodland and like the positioning of the wall a lot. Let's see Doubt now. Although he built a house for 25, he's going for the 20 pop up. Now building the racks, he should not get that sheep. And yeah, he's doing a good job here. Oh, nice. Third ball coming in now. And that's normally the timing where you don't have any balls left. And now with Mongols, the third ball, that should just increase his eco quite a bit. Oh, he's going to be able to make so many scouts and still get all of his eco upgrades. So he's in a very, very good position here. But Yo's walls, mm, they're fairly good, but he's got militia. So if he doesn't kill a scout off pretty quickly, the feudal age scouts with their extra attack are just going to be too powerful. And he's not going to be able to do a lot of damage. Let's see the ball in the south is the, oh, on the west isn't even completed and it's very open on the rest as well. I'm not really sure where he wants to wall to include include his main gold spot here. Not the best map for sure. I think he wants to wall uh, build a mill here and that is super exposed. Oh that's very bad. I think his best bet would be walling from his mill over to the right to that forest. Whoa. But that is still a really massive wall. But we're in China, so I so have heard we ha have some big walls over here. Yep, they are well renowned for it. Whoa. Well, double Dex good. Didn't and take horse. too much damage there on his militia. Yeah. That's true, double Dex and horse color coming in. So Doubt is going for some helicopter. Let's see how much food he has. 250 food and scout queued up. So that really spells. Yeah, some aggression coming up here for Doubt. Let's see if he queues up more. Yes, he is. And let's see what he's doing. Obviously, Yo does not want to be at home all the time. 
bad wants to yeah put some fear into the thought of oh i hope he doesn't Dodger. make this run oh, oh no he's taking so much damage in his militia there oh and they're basically all down now uh, i'm not sure why he isn't picking up the militia they've only got eight and ten hp each oh and that's basically all the defense now of Leo now and oof. That will be, I think that will be a tough hold. Let's see what is he doing concerning gold. He's not on gold. He's so not on gold. Is what, this is he maybe? Go scouts himself? Oh no! Now he is only going on gold. Uh, does he maybe need to go for spearmen skirmishes here first? Oh, I think so. It was definitely going to have to make spearmen. Okay, as let's soon see. In, but That's a weird mining camp there by Dowd. I'm not sure why he's going for the front main gold rather than the safe second gold off to the left. Well, I think he's just going for the full aggression mode anyway, so that's not a decisive move. Let's see. One villager down for sure. Second one. Can't even click it because there's I so many spots. I don't think she's going to make it. Yeah, but the hill bone is really strong there. Okay, so two scouts down and one and a half deers denied. Third villager in trouble as well. Nice around there. With and already, oh, two scouts going down there against. And heavily had one that comes from the military count, even trying to out micro the spearman here. Bam! And suddenly it's 5 to 1 military, and Yo is struggling to even defend. Well, I'm not sure what he's going to do. I think he's going to have to get up a tower on his gold fairly soon. Because if Doubt switches into archers, which which he is doing, he's got the archery range up, he's got villagers on gold, he can't defend that gold at the moment, yo. He's got a single archery range, a second's coming up, but he's just not going to have enough army to counter scouts with archers. I honestly have no idea what Yo is planning. He had 300 food here, uh, but is going for the archer defense, so probably... The blacksmith's coming up pretty soon as well. Doubt now even going for bloodlines. That says... I will keep on with the feudal aggression here. Yeah, getting some very, hits. very heavy here. And now archers should be coming in. Second archery range before the blacksmith for Doubt as well. Now wheelbarrow upgrades. So he's pulling ahead when it comes to all the eco upgrades. I'm not sure. Did you uh, do the mill upgrade or the gold upgrades? Uh, I don't believe so. I think he's only done the wood upgrade. I'll quickly no. have a look, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's done. Okay, now we're running around here and... He has done the farm upgrade. He has done the farm upgrade, okay. That was a nice looking overlay there, we need to talk about that later. And... Yo! Now, getting his archers in position to defend. The doubt actually cancelled his bloodlines. I was a bit surprised because only five scouts and yeah against spearman archer defense i thought like oh those would not make the uh, biggest I, of damage i think if he could have waited like because he's got four archers crossing the map right now once they get here i think he probably could have taken a fight with bloodlines quite quite comfortably and fletching is going to be finished just about the time he engages so oh, I, I think true. it could have paid off for him oh and now against the archers they need to run back so right there the those hill. scouts had bloodlines they could go in there no troubles I think they could go in there anyways, but yeah, I think the angle is just too tight and yeah, that's not a fight that can ever take. He needs to run around, I think. Yeah, they're too close to the town center there. Oh, they're actually sniping an archer there, although he had the lower numbers. Hill bonus is a pretty powerful thing, and oh, that is a sneaky tower that you got there. Oh, yeah, you can still get lots of the gold, so not the best tower ever, but still annoying AF. Oh, and we've got the defensive tower coming up on the gold for Yo. Yeah, as you said, he was forced to doing that, can't defend all his sides. And yeah, this is annoying, needs to maybe reposition his lumbers uh, jack there's nothing in the south so maybe he needs to go even to this doubt is going for skirms afterwards so he's just going for a full aggression oh he's going really really hard he's oh. sacrificing his path each time a little bit to add in the skirms so that he has a stronger army and yeah yo's just struggling and yeah 
doubt also on the soon to be on the way to Castle Age as well. This is looking super good for doubt. Oh, it's very close. He only needs what 50 food, 50 gold, and he's up. Let's see, should be kicking in any second now. But a whoop, picking up. Yep, there it is. Tower of Yope, nice position indeed. Okay, and then let's take a look at Yo's resources. We are looking no, at 300 not looking food. Good at all. Now trying to be annoying, Jill. Yeah. Denying four farms there. Now the getting. Is that that's just about half of his food ego for Yo. And he doesn't have a lot of food at the moment, so he needs all those farmers working as efficiently as possible. That's true. Let's see. Archers getting one archer for themselves. Doubt now going for the defense upgrade. And he's kind of uh, not really knowing where to find spots. Yo has one tower here, is having the tower in the north. So, yeah, probably just denying those four farms is exactly what he wants to go for. Let's see if he can get the villager. But Yo is aware of it. And I think Yo is going for the clear up before Doubt will get into Castle Aid. Well, we might lose this army, but I'm I'm expecting he'll be adding in knights along with the crossbows that he'll be making once he gets to Castle Age. Well, let's see. It's and the only superior tech that his army will have. There's only one archer range for now. Without trying to run some. And he's actually taking kind of a reasonable fight here with what he has left. And he's still got a large army crossing the middle of the map. It is mostly skirms, but... Still army, better than nothing. Uh, he's going for crossbowmen now, though his front army has like eight skirms and only two archers. So maybe in this case it would have been an option to go for elite skirms. Uh, you're now going for a third archery range. And now Dick Doubt can dictate all the fights. No, he's just gonna keep slowly pushing on here. Maybe he might come forward with the siege workshop. Oh that would absolutely be an option. Like positioning over here could put a lot of pressure on our player even, from China. Even just a Manganel on that front hill attacking his archery ranges, taking those down and then going in towards the TC. Absolutely. Let's see what Doubt is doing. He is not sending any villagers forward at the moment. He is putting a stable. And, and he has a second town center at home. He is putting a second town center as he said, or already finished it. And now trying to find a better angle against the gold spot there. And he's finding more. Ooh. He isn't really killing any of the villagers, but he's back there and it's forcing them off the work. All the gold income, that's good enough for me. And just the better range there, range 7 against range 5. It's helping out so much, all the skirmishes have range 6 against range 5. Still one extra range, one extra damage, it all adds up. Loud ahead by roughly 4 villagers and I think wheelbarrow. If Yo doesn't have it, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think they've both done it. Yeah, they've both done the barrel. Okay, makes absolutely sense. Archer's not trying to find more kills. Yo needs to readjust. One villager most likely going down. And Doubt's trying to push into the left side of his lumber camp with a couple of crossbows and a villager. Probably oh. go for another tower. If uh, he has a stone. I think Ooh, he is. he's 20 stones short. Yeah, but I think like a tower will not live there for long anyways. You are now instantly going for the sea truck shop, elite scums and botkin arrow. Let's see if Doubt might be pushing in there. Uh, I think Doubt needs to retreat and maybe send in the archers at the same time. Oh yeah, that's exactly what he's going for. But it's six now for Doubt, so he is yeah, just keeping with the aggressive approach. Against Yo, he was going for elite skirmishers and manganel defense. That Ooh, will be it's tough. a very strong defensive army, but it's not particularly strong when you go on the push. Indeed, that's what I wanted to say. You're so right, Robo, there. Uh, easily getting countered just by small amounts of knights there. And, and it's also just like, like the skirmishers, they don't have a particularly high damage count, so they can't kill villages very easily compared to just your standard crossbows or knights. Yo now needs to retreat heavily behind when it comes to villagers now. 40 to 56. 
with 10 idle, uh, idle villagers even for Yo and sending more into the TC so that's basically half his eco getting idols here now trying to get for some stone Yo has enough wood though but he's got a lot of wood maybe a market and selling wood okay those this mangonel shot has to be good here to finally get some peace at home no, right over here. doubt's not having any of it, he's just going to keep running away from the Mangonel for the time being. Is there a trap coming up with some houses? No, it's not. And this is looking good for our player from Serbia. Ooh, Mangonel shot. Mangonel, maybe. Ooh, double split. Oh. Getting some damage done against the Mangonel. Down to roughly 30-60% uh, of the HP. Still splitting like a boss. Killing all the Expos. Now focusing the villager, all the expos are down and now he can focus against the mangler, but more scums coming up. Even Mang so, just the amount of damage that he's done there, just a handful of crossbows, is immense. And while this is happening, his villager lead is still growing. So well done there indeed. And Look yo, he's 20 bills ahead. Oh Jesus, how do actually it's closer to 30 even let's take a look at the eco here it's two extra tcs already going for the outside stone and gold spots and having a sea truck shop as well maybe trying to take this kind of back hill here from yo and yo although on the other hand just trying to yeah defend as best as he can and trying to get back into this game but this villager deficit uh, it's definitely not good not looking good for yo at all Doubt's already got half the resources he needs to imp. He's got 500 food, almost you 500 gold. Kidding me? We are looking at like basically zero resources here from Mr. Yo, and Doubt, as you said, soon to be looking into Arbalest there, and and then slowly transition into Mangadai. Yeah, uh, Yo, now having lots of villagers on stone here. Not really sure why he wants to do that. Maybe he's thinking a defensive castle on the hill out the front. Maybe well that's the left. Oh god. Ooh, that was so nice. Maybe defensive castle, but now, no, 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 he just had a bit too much there, and now I realized, okay, I only needed like 100 stone for another TC, and now setting them back to wood. Yo's going for a little bit of a raid with some elite skirmishes. Yeah, we'll find a villager for himself. Good doubt, he's doing handcart and scale barding armor. So, any side to mass knights. Oh. Maybe he's not going in, just. Full Castle Age Knights. Yeah, and I think that's a very choice option. I think he's so far ahead, like, it's tough to throw the game away now. And yeah, just two plus two Knights, as we said, so good against the composition of Mr. Yo here. He was still going for almost just pure skirms. He's got a couple of crossbows in there, but it's mostly skirmishes. Don't know, even pushing further here. Yo still. Pretty reasonably away from getting housed. And he's got 30 TC up in his gold, which is very nice, but he's still, he's 30 bills behind. Resource wise, I have about the same amount of resources in the bank at the moment, but Doubt's got two stables, queued up knights, he's building a third stable. And overall population 120 to 70, and yeah, it's just going down further and further here for Mr. Yo. Doubt not far away from being boomed out completely here, oh. and Yo just yeah struggling Yo has to keep. almost no wood income at the moment. They're all stuck in that very south corner ah, of the wood yeah, line. Yeah, we can and see they're that. So inefficient. Half of them aren't working. They're just bumping into each other. They're stuck there. Oh, and as you said before, trying to build the defensive cars on the right hand side. That was your prediction. He's sending more and more villagers on stone now. So. I wouldn't Ooh. be surprised. Oh, Magna push now coming in. There's no with the Knights. This is going to be bad. He's got Bloodlines coming in right now. Oh. Just as the fight starts. And instantly focusing the Seed Workshop. Oh, now that's a nice house. They're trying to get a better angle. Only nine, one Knight at a time can actually attack there. The rest is stuck. So Magna is getting lots of damage done. But oh, way too much armor for that. Look at all those crossbows in the back there. That was good. Six people clapping in the audience. I think if Yo you would have won, it could it have been, been a seven. Little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. It could have been seven. So let's take a look at the achievements. Military count, obviously, doubt. Picking up so many villagers there. Oh, massive. And yeah, his ego was just 
so much better, just like pure aggression. And as we said in the early um, yeah, in the early game, if Mongols are getting the aggression done like they have to, it can be pretty deadly. Yeah, and you make all the damage in the early game while they have this their fast age up time and can abuse that advantage that they have. Okay, let's show our faces a bit here. We don't have the webcam for no reason. What is going on here? Oops, there we are. Oh, that's a bit of a blurry camera. Yeah, I think it will set up pretty soon. At least at ah, the for are. Indeed. There we are. And let's update the score. It is 0-1. Looking out of the perspective of Doubt. Uh, I mean, yo. Powered by ZP Clon. ZP Doubt is the name of the. Of this cup. Yeah, and we actually, uh, some time ago, I saw the sponsor. He actually was like a super shy, nice guy, and came to Doubt and asked for an interview. Doubt, like, uh, not an interview, a uh, signature. Oh, yeah? And obviously, Doubt didn't understand, so then they had to get the translator who just said signature. And Doubt, ah. Ah, and then okay. Made the sign. Um, it was really nice that all these Chinese players really, really liked Doubt. Because yeah. he's been around for so long, and most of these players have been old school 2Ks. They probably haven't been very active, you know, with life and just AOC being on a slow decline. But the fact that they're all here, and even today, there isn't really proper tournament games. The Clan Masters is finished. But there's still 20, 30 spectators here. Yeah, and lots of playing as well. Like the four VIP uh, PCs from yesterday, now we're getting used for lots of players backing. Viper was playing. Uh, yeah, like no, they were all lining up to watch Viper play. There was a huge crowd of them sitting behind him. Yeah, really no, great to watch. No free spots there to watch, and it's incredible how much those Asian guys are smoking. Like the, oh, yeah. the guy I played, he smoked like three whole cigarettes before actually reaching uh, feudal age. And the game's just about to launch. I'm not sure. Did I actually click? Yeah. Okay. So that's good. And it's 0-1 here. And we are going into the home map of Mr. Yo, who is saying that first game was just luck. I'm the better player. Let's go for the map that looks most like Arabia. It is actually Gold Rush here with Yo going for Mayans and Doubt going for Aztecs. That is... Strange to say the least. Ghost Lake, it's it's a Mayan meta. It's always been Mayans, but I'm not sure what Doubt's gonna go for. Just Drush Flush, maybe try to be super aggressive before he was able to get up walls. Well, Aztecs are super good as well. Uh, they can do M A. The Drush is so much stronger. The Expos aren't that bad because you have the better economy. So I can absolutely understand why he went for Essex as well. It will be an interesting battle for sure. Let's take a bit a look at the map. Normally, post players are at like different sides, but this time the ghost deck actually isn't dividing them too much. And they yeah, can just get to their enemy pretty quickly. Yeah, very easy to go for four buildings, which is generally something you don't see a lot of on Ghost Lake. You're generally forced to go around the sides if you want forward buildings, but who knows, maybe someone will see this and try to capitulate on it and go forwards? Uh, maybe, maybe. Although both players don't have the most wallable maps, they have defensive wood and defensive gold. So, I think like the forward... Oh, oh, you missed a yo! Not really sure what's going on there. Actually, I was playing at the same spot like Mr. Yo um, is now, and I think this is a very bad positioning because let's take a look. There are so many spectators directly behind you, and like the monitor is shaking every time someone is taking the step because the whole like stage isn't very stable. <laughs> oh, so good. maybe that was a misclick reason there for Mr. Yo. But we will jump back into the game and see what he if he's making the best out of it. Well, something else to point out. In the end, Yo's obviously going to want to go for Plumed Archers because he's mined. But his main stone is out the front. Very, very hard to wall that. 
And then his second stone is all the way to the south on a bit of a hill. So if he got a castle there, that would be okay. But it's just so far away from the rest of his economy. Indeed, but first of all, he needs to think about how do I properly transition into Castle Age. Doubt looked strong in the game before, and like, is Ghost Lake a really good choice against Doubt? Not really sure, but what really is? Oh, well, yeah, because Doubt's been playing for so long, this is a standard map. I'm 100% certain that he knows how to play this map. <laughs> I, yeah. I would be very surprised if he doesn't know what to do. I, I personally would think trying to go for a less well-known map and a more trick strategy, where it's something that he may not have prepared for, would be a better choice for Yo. Well, but Yo himself thinks that he is a very strong player, and rightfully so, so I think going for standard map and maybe trying to go for the micro war here without lag could be a good option as well. Could be. Enyo's already going for the walls, just to the north of his base. <laughs> yep, three villages on berries as well, now getting the 60 stone by sending a villager on gold. And it seems like rush against rush war and then it will be five militia against... Do you think he might mine some extra gold and go for extra militia? Uh, that's absolutely an option. I personally like if I play mains against Attack to go for militia and try to defend with one villager. But that's obviously just playing into the cards of any other strategy if he isn't going for five militia offensive trust. Oh, we are getting housed for a little bit on 25 pop. He's walling his map, as you said, without this two stone spot, so Mayans being kind of stuck on Expo Tech then. And if they're both going for Expos, then I'd have to say Aztecs have a bit of an advantage. Their eco bonus is stronger, their archery ranges work faster. So. But the I archers are cheaper. They're cheaper, yeah, but until you build an extra archery range, it doesn't really help you because you're still going to have the same mass, but he makes them faster. Okay, okay. Maybe yours eco might be a bit better then, but. Yeah, as I said, or as we both said, Aztecs and Mayans both super strong when it comes to Expo Micro there. You're trying to speed one the south here, is fearing the Drush, and, but the Drush only now started, so doubt just a bit later, or maybe only later because he waited for the 5 Militia. Now trying to wall himself a bit, he's fearing a Drush on his own. Ooh, hopefully doubt gets his wall up. It's going to be very close. And, and the militia are in. Yeah, trying to wall behind and there, but this villager is getting killed. Denying that house is really bad to doubt. He's on 33 pop, so... Well, now he's lost the villager, he's not going to get housed. But <laughs> that was a possibility. Yeah, and I'm not sure why he deleted the house. Like, the villager was at 4 HP, so he never would have gotten home anyways. And the house was at 70%. So maybe a bit of an open reaction. Let's see what Dao is doing with his League of Warrior. Not scouting, but trying to defend as well. Now taking his 5 Militia back home. And that was a very good start here for Mr. Yo. Oh no, that's the best thing you hope for. He kills the villager and he stops Dao using his stronger Drush offensively. Yeah, and Dao is later up to Feudal Age. Hmm, yours? Which is to be expected though, he had to make an extra militia, that's 60 extra food, oh sorry, yeah, two extra militia actually. And now, Yo needs to run against the chasing militia of Doubt, and Doubt trying to wall the map a bit more, probably getting his archery ranges up in this area, and... Ooh, Doubt yes. seems to be sending a villager forwards through the middle of the map. Ooh. Is he going to go for a tower near the berries and then break through that wall? Let's see what he sees. Oh, by the way, we didn't... He's only now going on gold. Whoa. Well, he has to be going for feudal age aggression then. Yeah, this has to be... A tower and skirms? Well, is he, he's not in stone as well. The problem is though, if he does build a tower near those berries, it's so easy for you to wall that. Go from the berries to the house to the archery range, and then Yo is totally walled. Did he maybe just forget to go on gold and decided to go forward to make up for it? That would have been weird. It could be a possibility, but forgetting to go on gold in this sort of a game, I, I have to struggle to believe that. 
Uh, let's see. So yo, going for the expos here. Already looking into the castle to tag with the archery range and the blacksmith. The tower will not deny any wood, but the berries, which will be like 180 less accessible food here. Uh, yeah, that is gonna affect him a little bit. He might have to delay bowsaw, but it's not gonna dramatically change the castle age of Yo. No, absolutely not. And especially those villagers aren't killed, so you can just build a farm with them or something. So, ooh, ooh I said that a bit early, but surviving with 10 HP there. Second archery range coming up. Lots of villagers trying to get that archery range up. And let's see, MA upgrade is coming up, so now those will do some damage. The walls are getting up in time. Yo is castle at like 60%. And now MA trying to get one archery range down. Yep, but that house though, he's been walled out. So it's going to take a while to get in there and kill that house. And by that stage, Yo should be castle aid. I think he will go for the archer range way. instead of the house. Five militia and uh, five MA and an eagle warrior are actually doing quite some damage output. Skirm's now helping out as well, and Yo realizes, oh god, I don't want to lose my archery ranges so early here. Better build a defensive tower, and that means if Doubt finds another angle, he is in a fine position to control that area because now Yo does not have any chances to get either a TC up or another tower. Yep, Doubt's almost got the stone for a second tower. And Yo's militia, they're coming in from behind, but there's not much they can do versus this army. Like, even that many skirmishes kill militia pretty easily. Yeah, those militia can't do anything. Maybe they can get a kill there against the stone miners, but no, they're just running towards the army and it's all good. Except for that one villager who got a little bit trapped within the militia, but he's okay now. Oh, and now that's the thing where Yo needs to do some wonders. Getting up Doubt a siege is workshop. Oh, that's so cool. maybe a Mangan Elf could flatten those skirmishes, get him in a good position. But after he gets crossbow, he's got the extra range, he'll be able to micro quite a lot. And he's gonna need to get in here pretty quickly to stop this tower. Uh, yeah, let's see if he can deny the tower. Might struggle a bit. There's still lots of skirms. Getting the eagle is a good start. And I think, uh, what is, should Doubt do here? Should he take the fight? Should He needs to buy time for sure. I think he just needs to wait for the tower to get up. So try to take the fights without going absolutely horribly. And how did that go? Oh, he's forced him back. So I'd say that's a win for Doubt. Oh, but the Manganel. Oh, killing his own militia. And now the tower's up. This is looking better for Doubt than we, yeah, kind of predicted after we saw the walls here. And now with this tower, Doubt now has the opportunity to break in again, attack the next palisade wall and try to go in. Okay, let's see. Three villagers in the tower, so doing some damage to the house. Maybe sneaking around now. And on the other side, Doubt lost all his MA, so like killing any real buildings is not an option anymore let's see what is yo doing with his doubt is actually trying to take the aggression against the crossbow man no chance for botkin arrows so far no but as we said losing the berries there it's starting to affect him now having just a little bit less food Yeah, let's see what happens here. People getting a bit excited. McDonald's just arrived. Yes, I can smell the food behind me, but but we're casting and we're professionals. Did, did you say normal food behind me? I can smell the food behind ah, me. Ah, you can smell the food behind me. I had to think for a second there. What did I actually say? Okay, okay. And down of 400 food. Actually not building any more villagers, so most likely we will see him sell some wood and yeah, then go for the early castle age. But he's going to need, I think, try to kill some of these crossbows before a fight happens. Because once he gets into his base, he's got two mangonels and a lot of crossbows. Oh, and that's a good fight here for Dowder. Actually, that's not a fight if only one person is shooting. Now, th three, four, one. Mangonel shot could get some skirms there. Good anticipation. Then Dowd is clicking up to Castle Age. For now, he's ahead by eight villagers. 
but that will yeah get a bit smaller while doubt is going on to castle edge let's see i think that might be deadly oh, oh god doubt time. losing that everything here so bad there that's all the doubt's army oh and that is now very good for you that actually has no military at home. It's all in his archery ranges at the front. Yeah, he has only six overall. It's two skirmishes and four archers trying to run around. And I don't see how Doubt can hold here. He only has three villagers on stone, but oh, instantly spotted by Yo here. Uh -oh. So those won't. Ooh, and Doubt doesn't have the stone to build a tower there to defend that stone. Doubt is going for defensive Eagle Warriors now. Oh, I think that's really all he can do. Because he's so far behind in numbers of crossbows. And with those mangonels, I don't think he's able to get into it. I'm not really sure. Now the mangonel is going for the palisade wall here. I just could help out as well. And then he is at a sweet spot, which will be so tough to get. Yeah, a good attack going for doubt here. Now even trying to storm all behind this. I think that's, that's very good. Yeah, I think that's one of the better moves for sure. But he's still going to lose access to the gold, I think, with those crossbows. Yep, moving off to the main gold. Let's see what he's going for. Plus two defense. And you can see the second barracks, so he should know that there are eagles coming in soon. Actually, he's not producing out of the second barracks just yet. One is queued up with three, and the other one now as well. So, Doubt will go for an untypical unit composition there. Eagle Warriors, or it's not a composition. against Ooh. Expo Mangonel. Kind of the counter but still pretty costly and now there's more army of Yokanok. If he can like combine his two forces this should be pretty good for him but the Mangonel most likely will go down. It's a bit exposed here. Exposed killing one Eagle Warrior, killing two Eagle Warriors. Oh, All the archers obviously going shot. down. Oh two Mangonel shots. Oh got a oof. And look at that number of crossbows though. And while this is happening Yo has got a second town center up on his front stone, so he's going to start to break ahead on village account. And look at the army count, it's 19 to 5, and there's just so much uh, palisade wall only. I think Yo will continue the push here. I'm not really sure how Doubt can hold that. He's trying to go for full barracks defense. Should he maybe even go for the attack upgrade? I think, yeah, definitely. He's got the food for it. Unless he's hoping for a quick aim. He's going for a siege workshop now. It's, it's actually May and Steel for Yo. Just to inform the Viper, yeah. just tuned in here. Got to be careful. All the Eagles coming in behind with the Mangonel. Ooh, that's a tight spot, no. though. Yo is, should be taking good fights here. But even just forcing Yo not to push in gives Doubt time to get out of his own Mangonel. Oh, the Eagle blocking the way. Oh, and nice ground attack there. Doing some extra damage. And now the full surround is on. Two volleys are killing. Doubt's going to need to delete Eagle. those palisade walls if he wants to now go the in. The walls are oh, getting deleted. There it is. There I it think is. Yo should stand a bit tighter to the, to the trees there. And God, what a nice position. Sniping Eagle after Eagle. Now Doubt oh, is going in, waiting for the Mangonel. Oh, where is it going? AOC pathing. Ooh, Mangonel actually oh, getting a one for one trade. That's the best so thing bad. Yoko was hoping for. That's so bad for Doubt. He needed that to help fight those crossbows. More crossbows coming in, and, and Yoko. even a ram battering on the front of Doubt's base. Just yeah. to the south a little bit. Is Yo actually. Yeah. Look at this. Doubt is looking to go Imperial Age. He has 800 food, 700 gold. He is building the monastery now. Already has the siege workshop. So. But Yo, Yo almost has a stone for castle. Fort, oh, he's building a defensive castle. Let's take a look where he is building his castle. It is... Ah, oh, that's not a forward castle. No, it's a good position to defend his eco, but I think if he'd gone forward, then he might be able to stop Doubt even getting to him. Yeah, but probably Yo not getting to... I think he would yeah, not want to take the risk. To, but, yeah, he thought like, oh, this guy has a, ma a mangonel out, he has a siege workshop, he has several barracks, better build the castle defensively and try to make my eco advantage happen. But the eco advantage is, I say only, 18 villagers, 
Doubt now it's 49 and, and villages. And it's going to keep getting worse because Doubt's not making any villages while he's imping. Yeah, and he only has one TC against the, let's see, three TCs here for Mr. Yo. And that will be 49 villagers for quite some time. We are on the way for Mr. Yo. Plus two, plus one on his expos here. He can't really take any fights. And I think Mr. Yo will not expect Doubt to reach Imperial Age here. This quickly. Let's see now. Monk trying to get out some. We'll get the relics. No, no ballistics so far here for Mr. Yo. Well, he definitely needs to get ballistics if he wants to try to take fights versus these eagles. But maybe he doesn't want to take the fight. Well, he's gonna have to at some point. some point, well, he's well, trying to go is, back. Ballistics. Ooh, let's see if the Mangonauts and the Eagles... Actually, could they take a fight before Imperial so. here? I, I think th they could, but I think they shouldn't. Oh, yeah, definitely safe not to wait a little bit. Oh, oh, the split. The split oh, was good. For the split, Mangonaut. Okay, shot. that was good versus Mangonaut. And he's gonna get them on. We're just showing great micro here. I think he got like no to very little damage there. Doubt now needs to open himself up in the back to not lose all his eagles. Let's see if Yo is pushing even further. He can snipe some more eagles before Doubt is actually reaching Imperial Age. Uh, I mean the upgrades. Let's take a look um, at the first barracks. The elite eagle warriors are kicking oh, in. Oh, but that is so bad for Yo. He clicks in right after Doubt gets to Imperial Age. So that's a full three minutes where Doubt is going to be ahead. The military count is 28 to 26, but I think that will change pretty quickly. But the villager count is just more than 30 head for Ooh, Mr. Yo. Here comes the Eagles, and there's a Manganel on the inside. Oh, but Yo is now trying to take a very tight spot, and oh god, this is a perfect fighting positioning here for Doubt. There's so many Expos going down yeah, without actually fighting. So this is a perfect engagement that Doubt was hoping for. They're keeping the Manganel back on the hill, so Yo's reaction was instantly going back, and the perfect timing here by the yeah, Eagles. All these crossbows, they're all gonna die. They may as well just stop and fight and do a little bit of damage because there's no way they're going to get away. Yo now going for full plume dodger defense, having two defensive castles and just waiting for them out. Yo not even trying to micro somehow. Plus four defense, four doubt on the way. But where can he find damage? I don't think he can. He's got a third of the army of doubt and the not elite plume dodger, which is the tech that you need to get that extra bonus damage versus eagle warriors. I think Yo will not do any damage for now. He needs to defend, but where will Doubt actually attack? At the moment, he is attacking through the middle where the Bloom Dodgers are already waiting for him. He needs to retreat Yo in the cover of his castle, yeah, but even then, his Bloom Dodgers they need to run. He's picking up some relics, nice scouting here. And I think Yo is fully walled at the moment. So, Doubt's going to have a little bit of trouble getting in there. He can only raid the villages on the stones on the outside. And there is a third castle coming up to the north of Yo's base. Oh, and that's perfect gold. positioning because he wanted to expand into this wood and gold area. So, Ooh, yeah. But there's eagles going straight there. Doubt's not an idiot. Uh, he saw the... Nice movement there by him. Let's see, Yo is now going to the north, getting braces, getting conscription, getting chemistry, so all the upgrades. But we've got a forward castle for Dowd, he's going to start making traps. Ooh, and indeed. I, and Yo has not seen it, or he can just see it. He just has line of sight on the castle, but he's not making any traps. Uh, Dowd should get into that pretty quickly. That's four defense eagles now. But honestly, a castle, I think, wouldn't Rams be the better decision here? Possibly, but because can you yeah, win the trap war? You're against the hill. You're against more castles. That is true. That and is the Rams would help tank arrow fire from some archers. He wasn't on stone either. Uh, I'm not sure, but there's nothing of you that can actually attack those traps, but counter traps of you. And you're still not even making any traps at all. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of gold, he's a little bit short, he's only got 400, so he can make two trebs or he can keep making plumed arches. 
Village account 35 ahead for Mr. Yo. Military account 21 ahead for Doubt. So Doubt needs to make something happen here pretty soon. Or the Eco. Yo is about to get a leap in Vatra. He's got the resources for it. There it is. Okay, and that gives him so much more damage output here. And more HP on the Plume Duchess as well. And he's just, he's not even going to bother making curves for the moment. He's just going to keep repairing his castle and mass up enough Plume Duchess so he can take a fight versus these Eagles. Yeah, that's true. If you do not have the amount of Plume Duchess you need to protect your traps, maybe there's just no real yeah benefit of building the traps because the Eagles can actually well, raid them so easily. He definitely wants to do masonry if he's not going to make traps. Because he needs that extra help from that castle so that it will stay up. Yeah, indeed, let's see some splitting here of the Plumed Archers. Let's see how they're trying to engage. The castle just in very nice positioning here for Doubt. Let's see Plumed Archers trying to go for the snipe, but they need lots of wallies to actually kill the trap, and the trap actually survives with 5, five HP. HP. Oh, that is so unlucky for you. Now villagers come in to pre uh, repair, and the Plumed Archers needed to go back. You're oh, repairing. Doubt doing bowsaw at 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that is. To get that done a bit earlier, now the mill died. Not really sure. But Yo, that Yo has taken focus. over. He has more military at the moment. Getting He's, more siege He is approaching an uncountable amount of marches. Luckily, there is a mod which is actually counting it for us. Doubt. Now building a second castle. And getting bulk power. Is that just for the castle, do you think? Or is he maybe going to start adding in skirms soon? Uh, lead skirms. I think he will just stay on Eagle Warriors. But let's see. Now Yo is pushing in. The second castle should be going up. But the Rams, they are closing the distance. And they do splash damage against traps as well. Let's see. I think. Oh, God. Ooh, they're one actually down. And the villager repairing to save the last one. But Doubt now losing slowly and slowly, oh, losing his Eagle Warriors. Army. And now he's at 14 military and can't win this game anymore. Yo Ooh. is taking the win. And there we are, we can hear a lot more clapping for Yo's win. Clap, clap on the side over there. That's why Sponder behind. A veggie burger? No, really spicy. There's really spicy. No, there's, there's two burgers. Oh, two what? burgers. Chicken burgers? No, two burgers. What? What sort of burgers are they? Mixed spicy. And they're pretty spicy. Is there meat in it? What? Is there meat in it? I think it's chicken. Yeah. Vegetarian. Oh, yeah. Of course. So, GG there. And GG at the game as well. Let's get some chips or something. Take 1-1 one, one here. And now it will be the home map of Doubt. What should he pick? Ooh. Um. Lots of options. I don't think he's going to go for a water map. Um, okay. No, Robo's not a vegetarian. No, Robo Nilly, not. Robo is a sane. vegetarian. I'm just looking out for my caster here, making sure he gets the food he needs. So I'm eating ketchup. Um, I'm not sure. I would like to see him go for something like RF, but... Something I would have said as well. That's definitely an option, but Yo, Yo's not shabby on RF either. <laughs> That's true. Mm, let's see, Yo is asking home map. Let's see. Oh, and it's RF. Oh, Ooh. indeed. 2k caster over here. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so we will most likely see a Mayans War. We had a Mayans War before. Fire against Vivi, and honestly, Fire, Fire did not show too much of a great performance there. Yeah, I don't know, I miss those games, but... Uh, and there I will show you something cool about okay. Doubt. Dogao will show us something cool about Doubt, let's see what. One second. One second, okay. So. Oh, nice kiss face. Oh, that he is said sexy we should out. show that to all the guys on Wubli Official. He loves you all. Quote, quote doubt. Yeah, this is Goku as well. Oh, that's Goku? 
Looks a bit like mem. Okay, that's it. It's like Enough. very bright. The other picture you can be showing. Oh, with your stream here. Yeah. So, just got Maria sitting in the background. Just having fun watching. Uh, I will eat after the game. Thanks. So, Ryu, if you want to join, you're obviously welcome to co cast any games. Okay. Either this one or in the next set. The next set will be. Um, I'm not sure who we're gonna cast actually. Uh, do we have like? Ah, okay, okay. So the next set will be Riot against the winner of here. Oh, probably we will uh, show Jinghua Fire. I'm not sure if we show that actually. I think they should be playing. No, no, no. Because yeah, because Fire needs to use Gauss PC. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Can play. Okay. Oh, why yeah. could why <laughs> shouldn't he be able to play? Because fire is using his PC. Oh, fire is using his PC. Is fire playing no, against Jinghua at the moment? Oh, oh, that's it. Fire against Jinghua is starting in a minute. Yeah. Good. Um, whoever was hosted like and then said Richard. Man, can you? But he said Richard as a junkie. I could say sorry. I could talk, but. <laughs> <laughs> RF, okay. Yeah. Really? Another male one. Another male one. Whoa! Maybe down with the other again. Oh, yeah, that's the last one. So, Jingle against Fire is starting any second as well. We will keep obviously casting Yo against Doubt here. Can you, can you show the brackets again as well? I think I just showed them. Oh, you showed them the brackets? I think I did. Okay, yeah, that's good. Has Lim not updated the AC then? So many insults in the game. So very prepared Robo is very prepared. I'm always prepared. And now we are Clan Masters Finals Weekend Mini Cup Round of Eight. And we are jumping into game number three. Yo against Doubt here. The loser is out. And the winner yeah. continues to, to play for final game here. Two th uh, ten thousand Yuan prize geld. Uh, yep, price pool. Which is approximately 1500 US dollars. Yeah, something like that. So definitely not shabby. Oh, and a bucked stone spot here by Doubt. This might be a restart. Oh, he, uh, he does have a admin, restart. Admin, admin, admin. admin. I would say that's a bucked stone spot here for Mr. Doubt. For all the players, yeah, it's bug map. Okay. Let's. Okay. Everyone well, who Nimino's thinks that's a bug map, this. please ha raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, and we've got Richard's vote in Oh, if he deletes oh. the castle, he can take stone. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, we've got Viper going the other way. Doubt is still, he, he is not passing and considering continuing. Well, maybe he just wants to play. Maybe he's going to do the Viper, maybe he'll delete his castle. Well, let's take the rest of the map into consideration. The goal isn't great either. His wood lines... He wants to reach? 
What do you mean? He's going to restart. He's going to restart. Okay. Well, he does have a nice wood line. This is something you don't see very often, having a yeah, full wood line Look at his main goal spot. Yeah, that's that not very true. good. It's Henry. So, good that we are a democracy and three people in the stream can vote for an admin restart. For you, that's the Viper, that's Dogao, that's uh, Riot, that's Random Translator Girl 123. And then that's Richard's shoulder that you can see. Just yeah, that's Rich, Richard's shoulder. Why not play Turks on RF? Um, well, Janissaries are a very strong unit, but they're what? Close to double the cost of a Plumed Archer? Well, the big problem with them is that they actually cost food. And so yes. your, your boom will be so much slower. And they're a slower unit, so it's harder to go raiding with them. And in late game, you just have, don't really have a counter to, to lots of rams. And like Plume Dodgers aren't performing too well against Janissaries because the actual bullets aren't hitting too well. So Janissaries are kind of strong, but against Mongols, I would prefer... Okay, the game's just about to launch. Indeed it is. And now that's another try. SYU against Tyrant's Doubt playing in the Clan Masters Mini Cup weekend finals here. Finals, I say, and I mean round of eight. Oh round of eight. Crazy stuff going on here now. Acrobatic moves here by some random guys. Okay, Mr. Yo playing Mayans and Dao playing Mayans again. I think. A very standard RF. Always mines. Yeah. There is like the only other options are kind of countering golf. Actually I can kinda of tell you a good story. In the German Cup we had Registered Fortress as a standard map and so lots of players actually went for Goth because they wanted to counter Mayans. So I went for Aztecs the and they actually goth. picked Goth. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and I thought so clever. But did you win? I did win. He played a fast Imperial eight uh, hand cannon near us. That doesn't sound... Well, he wanted to counter Aztecs, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course, but you still have to wait for three minutes to do chemistry. Yeah, yeah, chemistry is so long. Oh, of course. That really, really hurts you. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, and a small pause. It seems like you're pausing. Oh, the gals going for a walk. Okay, and we're back. Yo, okay. yo, having a little bit of difficulty getting the ball through the gate. And and Doubt's map is, is fairly interesting. His main goal is quite close to a wall. But otherwise, he has a nice safe backward line. He's got stone that's fairly far away from the walls. And otherwise, he has a big hill off to the left with one of his second golds, which is going to be quite dangerous once he gets to late castle age. Take it all good. What of a job the kings are doing with scouting. A bit scary there. Could actually be a spot where he could die. These players didn't spot a lot so far. Be very and careful with the kings, just scouting in the corners near the base. Doubt going up with top 23 compared to 21 of Mr. Yo here. Uh, at least that's what I'm assuming that Doubt will click up now, yeah. yeah he is. Sure, sure On a pop, but I mean 21 with just 23. So a bit, player, a bit slower here by our player from Tyrant in the red chunks. And for Yo, his map is pretty good. He's got a back wood which is easily easily walled off with just like a marker blacksmith on each side going to the edge of the map. His main goal is nice and safe. Fairies are safe. Um, hill wise it's fairly flat. Like There's a big hill off to the right but it's not right next to his walls. Well there's a cliff. 
so that's much better for Doubt. Uh, Cliff on the front makes it a bit harder to push forwards. No, I mean, like, Cliff gives you hill bonuses as well. Yes, yeah, but it's still, it's not too close to his base, so... Oh, he could build a castle over here and just kind of always hill bonuses. Mm, right? Yeah. I think that's how it works. I think so, yeah. Rios? If he builds a castle over here, he's always fighting downhill, right? Uh, sorry? Okay. If he builds a castle here, okay. doubt. He will always fight downhill, right? I don't think so. The cliffs work with downhill, right? Really? I didn't know that. So My that's a better map for doubt, right? Because he's living in the north and the so hill is... better, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think so. Okay. So, Rio learned something today. <laughs> now asking Dugao, like, did you know that uh, cliffs are actually giving hill bonuses? I think it's only one way, right? What do you mean? Extra damage, so you don't need to receive so I'm not really like sure. Okay. I have to rewatch the spirit of the law video there. <laughs> okay. Castle, uh, King now in the castle. Something that most top players don't do, but Viper or um, Doubt always does. Yeah, because the reason why you don't want to do that is you'll generally keep your plumed archers in your castle before you unleash them. And when you ungarrison, you might send your king out into the middle of the map right where the enemy plumed archers are sitting. Exactly, and that's not happening with the watchtower. But yeah, there are some sneaky players who are trying to push on your tower then, and obviously that's so much more vulnerable than an actual castle. Fletching now coming up for Mr. Yo, so he is going for some aggression. He's going to go much heavier into plumed archers, and it, I'm not sure how well that's going to work though, because of Doubt's backward line. I don't think he's going to do too much damage to it, and I presume that Dow's going to instantly build a town center on his main goal. I think he will even build two town centers, one over here and one over here, and he will just do like the very defensive approach, and Yo is actually going for Botkin Arrow here, so Whoa. Yo will take the aggression in this whole game. That's something that you don't usually see in RF. Generally it's just fletching and then try to stabilize your eco and boom a little bit. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised to maybe even see a sing as offensive siege workshop coming up one day. Second to siege should be coming here. And that first here. Especially seeing his doubts castles to the back of his base. If you did do siege workshop to break in through the front or the side, it could work. You could get in, kill the main PC, and then go to the gold. That could be viable. The map for Doubt actually is super good to not go for a lot of Bloom Archers, so I can't fault him for that. Now going for Bosa, so this is such a better, like, eco approach for Doubt here compared to Mr. Yo, who really needs to make something happen. Well, of course, because Doubt's going for three town centers, and Yo is only going to be on two for quite a while. Now going for Fletching. Military count is 9 to 6 in favor of Yo, but you always have to distract two of those because the king and the eagle warrior are counting in as well. And Doubt actually, although he has a tower here, warning behind with the house because he knows this guy might be going for some archers. So better not let them in. No, definitely a safe choice. Oh, they might be out of Pickers Villager. No, no, Doubt's running away. Look look at how defensive Doubt is playing here. Oh, he is quite a boomy player. We can see that through the Clan Masters games. A lot of the time, he would just boom and let and his flank die. And <laughs> delay the enemy until his superior ego allowed him to overcome them. Yeah, and true. with this map where you start off the stone walls, you already have a defensive towers and a castle. It definitely plays into his hands like that. Yeah, I think so as well. And it is his home map. Scores 1-1. We are playing in a best of three. So this is the decider who is going to claim some of the juicy prize money for top four. Or oh, actually doubt since he wasn't seated already got some prize money advancing in the first round. And Yo is just now building his third town center. And he is actually only two or so bills behind at the moment. Yeah, now so getting a barrel. That's pretty good for him. Yeah, but it's it's not like we, we did say, okay, now Doubt did go for the boom approach, but that's only slightly. Like, both players looking at, like, 13, 
12, thir uh, 13 plumed archers here. Dao did go for fletching as well. Yeah, so there's only the um, plus one attack that Yo has. It's the only real advantage he has military wise. Let's see, maybe Dao can even find a kill here. Still no loom for Mr. Yo. Could find even two kills, one only. Just one. And Yo's trying to do the same in the other side, running right into a town center. But that position is obviously so much better for Doubt there. Being housed, but already building the houses, so not as big delay. Now Doubt six villagers ahead, and what is this villager doing? Maybe an offensive siege rush up against the very bad wood line here of Mr. Yo. That could be. Could be. The villagers coming, the plumed archers are all hanging around the middle of the map. I want, I want to see Doubt going for the plus two attack. Is now trying to kind of snipe something here. Yo is now going but for Loom. He can't take these fights against the Bodkin Arrow. Yeah, that's why he is going back. Maybe try to snipe one over here, but Yo is absolutely aware of it. He's going back now, and this villager sneaked through. Doubt now going for Bodkin Arrow. He has two less plumed archers, but six more villagers. I would say. A tiny bit of an advantage for Doubt. A little bit, and he's got the four siege workshop. So he's going to be able to kill that town center that's on the stone and wood for Mr. Yo. No better six for both players, obviously. So just some damage. Man, I think something that's really important for Doubt is just to try to make sure that Yo's army doesn't go towards that siege workshop just yet. He wants to try to keep that as a surprise until the mangonel comes out and can hopefully get a good shot on those archers. Doubt is going for the manual approach, like we said, and on the other side we have Yo going for the ballistics tech. So he will try to out micro those manganels. He has a pretty damn mic, good damn micro. Yeah, but so he's in a lag situation, so there is hardly any lag between the players. But will he be able to out micro two manganels? That is the question. We'll see, and like similar amounts of plumed arches as well. So both players now doubt even going for the defensive upgrade. Let's see, Magnol shot could be coming in. Yo is running oh, at the right moment. See, truck shot now coming in for Mr. Yo. Maybe this one could be denied. I think a bit more defensively could have been better. Let's see if the villager is getting the sea truck shot up. This is. Uh, it feels like I'm overhyping it, but this is actually a big deal if the sea truck shot goes up or not. Because if that sea truck shot's down, then you can't really stop those Manganels easily. Oh, oh what is this Manganel doing? Oh, where are you going? Oh, Let's see, hand cut close. from and the Mr. Yo. Still, oh, not anymore. Now the villager's dead. Now the villager's dead. Maybe Doubt wants to camp the hill now with the Manganels. University approach here from Doubt as well. Yo isn't actually making a Manganel just yet. Okay, now it's finally coming out. We're going for some eco upgrades. I think he's ahead when it comes to eco upgrades now. Doubt only ahead by three villagers at this point. I think this is still a super close game. Well, Doubt actually has quite a bit more food than this year. Oh no, he's just done haircut. I'm sending in a villager here to finish the house. One man oh, shot. Man could could pop out right that. now. That's just the pool wood line. But Yo is going for lots of stone now, trying to get a defensive castle up. Let's see. Both players still not going for any mon uh, relics. Some farm killing here by Mr. Yo. I'm just waiting for this man to pop out from Mr. Yo and just get a good shot off. Okay, now he's dropped it out, but. He had, I think, a couple of opportunities where he could have killed a Manganel, maybe got another good shot off on the Plumed Archers. What but is, what he chose is, not to take them. What is Yo doing here? I think he will just get trapped and lose everything, right? He is missing one defensive upgrade. Ballistics against Ballistics. Oh, uh, it seems like Doubt missed Patrol a bit. Let's see if Doubt can actually see the army of Mr. Yo. No, he can't. Let's go into a unit spy. If he can chase him... He's still not seeing the army. Now he is again. And that might be just like one or two. Oh, no. Didn't get the shot off. Let's oh, see if the Manganels are intercepting. Oh, he's pushing in with that Manganel. That seems very risky. Just wants to get one villager killed there and is not getting it. Without looking into him, peel later. On the other side, we have Yo camping on the hill. And it looks like Doubt's going to be up in Imperial Age a little bit faster than Yo. He is. 
waiting on a little bit of gold some and, yeah, gold. and Yo is waiting on a little bit of food. Uh, it's, I think it's super close. Uh, both players, so that will not decide the game. Let's take a look how much stone they have. If we can see more cars, it's kind of 300 stone for Doubt, 600 stone for Mr. Yo, who will get his castle up. Where should he build it? I'm thinking that Yo's probably going to get the castle out on that hill right where you're looking. And there it is. Defend that goal, defend that hill. And on the other side, he's doing some stone. Oh, Doubt could have do some trap walls, maybe some ground attack here. Oh, oh that was a bit early. Go again, go again. He's Oh, oh, no, 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 it's still. Oh, but that was a bit early. Maybe anticipating more lag here, but not used to it being. Was still a good shot. It didn't kill any, but he got a lot of splash damage. Oh, but now Yo can do some damage. And Yo's getting out with life with more Bloom Darcher than I would have thought. Where should Doubt build his castle now? This could be a defensive area, but I think. I'm Something more might offensive? try to go for an offensive one. Maybe out towards, not that far forward, about where the cliff is, try to defend that stone to the left of his base. Possibly. Okay. Defend that and then keep pushing forwards with castles. Let's see, points are super close and I feel like the game is as well. Doubt already going for plus two defense. Yo, still stuck with plus zero. Let's see, where is Doubt expanding to? Ah, he is pulling the defensive castle on the left hand side. Oh, so we'll, we'll go Joe for the longer gonna approach. Know about that castle as soon as it goes up. His Eagle Warrior is sitting right next to it. Yep. He's gonna get killed by the castle as soon as it goes up. Most likely, bad news. Oh, but Doubt's coming in, denying a siege workshop. A little bit. Oh, this might be a long game here. It is round of eight of the mini cup here in China. Play, played live on land. Those players could see each other if they wanted to. And look at these techs. They're both doing the exact same thing, just a couple of seconds apart. Oh, look at this. And we're like 20 minutes in. They could have ha had like millions of choices to do. And yeah, just neck on neck game. And even considering the differences in their start, going for the early Bodkanara versus the early third town center, and they are still this close together at the end of the game. No. But there, look at that, that is Yo doing the early Plume Archer versus Doubt getting the wood upgrade. Yeah, that's true. They still have a lot of resources. And I think something I like more from Doubt here is the map control. He will get more relics, I would predict. He will, let's take a look, this is pretty re uh, important in oh, May and War. About two each, and then one that's that one there on the screen right now. Is I think you will get this one, so I think Ooh, it will be three right for doubt, okay. and this one will be kind of neutral, and one for Mr. Yo in the right hand side corner. Maybe small advantage there for doubt. He needs to regroup though. Still not enough villagers on stone here. Oh, and look at this eco having six other villagers. Yo's getting some of these upgrades a little bit faster than doubt now. You're getting capped ram. He's got Elite Bloom Archer a lot faster than Doubt did. And he's also getting armor, Leather Archer armor and Heavy Plow? Does he really need Heavy Plow for a Mind War? Well, it's, it's super cheap and you want to abuse the market. So, yes, I will abso absolutely go for it. Because look at this, he still has like solid 25 farms. And now Yo is trying to get in. One Monk down, second Monk down. I'm not sure if like a focus of the full army there was the right decision now and I think that's a fight Yo should not take he only has like 40 and Doubt had way more he had like more than 40 as a group there start going into the fight numbers on the screen obviously say that Yo has some more but he has them still at Ooh, home some caprams coming out towards Doubt's forward yeah, and he only has one siege workshop and he's not getting his gold spot I think I have to give a small advantage to Mr. Yo here, although the numbers say that Doubt is ahead. Well, Yo's economy is just that little bit safer. He has the gold that's walled in on the left hand side. He's pushing in towards, I believe this gold is Doubt's. So that's going to start to take effect later when Doubt runs out of gold. And I think Yo's thinking about doing another forward castle after he secures his front. Let's see. This front is secured for sure. I think like fighting for the right hand side would have been a bit more important than actually building this on the left hand side. 
Doubt is now going for even crop rotation, as crop rotation, as you can see. So they want to use the market for sure. And yeah, that's a nice fight there by Doubt. Let's do take a look at the kill statistics. Just a bit better by Doubt, but Yo is already getting siege ram while Doubt's only doing cap ram. So this yeah. is going to be so key. If if Yo can take a fight with his friends in the front, able to tank arrow fire. I don't think Doubt can fight him off any time soon. Doubt could be housed here as well. Losing so much here. And all those plumed archers from this castle dying one by one. It's a little bit excessive though. I don't think Yo needs that many plumed archers sitting there. Well, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but he only needs three or four of them. He can send the rest of them to support his main push. Okay, Doubt that's... is just not noticing. They're just constantly streaming in. Oh, and Yo fighting with this relic back, another castle in this area. So Yo is going for the long, yeah, long approach here. Although and I think. Doubt is actually housed, losing all those houses in the front. Yeah. Coming down, he's below 180 pop now. Yeah, and now he finished this castle, so up to 195. Uh, yeah, pop limit there. Guilds now from both players. Knowing that food count can be exchanged into gold. Yo is just a little bit ahead, so he's going to get a much better sell price. Yeah, if he's getting it done for sure. Both players with close to 1k food. Trying to sell, let's see. The ram push is now coming oh, in. And there it is, Yo sells first. Yo sold first indeed. Only he now finishing sold for doubt. He got the upgrade. And oh, he's pushing in. Into his base. And some ratings on the other side as well. Yo is just playing it a bit better, I feel. Although Doubt is. Well, look at that. Doubt's pulling a lot of his army over. But if he goes too far away, then Yo will come in, take this castle. And if he denies that stone, then Doubt's not going to be able to build any more castles. Well, that's true. And Doubt is, I think, only on four castles. I say only, but it's actually a reasonable number. Feels like Yo is outplaying him here in every regard. Not the well, first traps Yo does up. actually have five castles. <laughs> so he's a little bit ahead. And now it's Doubt pushing for the first time in a while. Trying to get something done here on the right hand side with some rams. Rams are kind of the most important unit now at the moment. Obviously, yep. like plumed archers are a bit more important, but once everyone has like four or more. The ram amount is. Yeah, having the rams tank the arrow fire is so key. And also Those denying a relic. Oh, those rams are so good here for doubt. Yo needs to retreat. Trying to build more siege workshop. But this castle is going down. So now it's, I think, only three castles for doubt here. Both players going for plumed archers only. And look, Yo already has a stone for a sixth castle, and Yo in doubt only has five. Sorry, Yo only has three castles. See, so now trying to kill the rams here, trying to build more rams to hold this area as well. And oh, but there's a good raid on the right hand side. Doubt's going to kill about 15 of Yo's Ooh, villages. Ooh, yeah, nice catch there, Mr. Robo. And points are absolutely neck and neck still. Changing every second. Oh, Doubt is dropping archery range on the left hand side. Is he thinking about going for elite skirms? Uh, yeah, some elite skirms mix in won't hurt at all. Well, remember, he is missing his third gold, which is being contested in the middle of the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's and trying still... to go for that little one to the right of it. But that is so open. And Yo is going forwards. Is he going to build a castle there? Or just a mining camp? Let's see. It is a castle. And it's, it's at a nice position. So Doubt at the moment is having oh, both look, neutral gold spots. Look at this fight. Rams coming in for Yo. Even though he has less plumed archers, if those Rams stay in front, he could take this. And Doubt realizes what that is, and runs back. That's an ambitious <laughs> trap. trap move here. <laughs> that is very ambitious. That's a defensive castle now by Doubt. A bit further back than the castle. Uh, was before and oh god this castle of Mr. Yo will get denied instantly here oh, and should delete that one even though it's gonna lose me 50% of the stone better to delete it than lose it maybe he thinks he can take that fight I think he cannot oh there's a little bit of a rain, ram train coming in from Yo past the secondary goal in the middle 
but there's no Plumdarches backing them up, and oh wow, those Plumdarches in the back nearly just looked at. And there's idle villagers sitting there. Yeah, so that might actually be better for Yo here. Just have a look at the bill count. Yo's almost 30 bills behind. Yeah, and lots of idle of them as well. So it's basically 110 villagers working here for doubt and only 65 ish. That's not good. Oh, but this castle in the north might go down for doubt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, there's no chance of saving that. But the big push is on the left hand side. So it most likely will be one castle for one castle. And that's better for Mr. Yo at the moment because he just has more production. And he does. I always wonder why the players don't do masonry a lot earlier. Just yeah. to keep their castles alive that little bit longer. Yeah, absolutely. Would have been would have been a very yeah, reasonable upgrade and much needed. I'm sure they're expensive, it's only two hundred and fifty wood, hundred and fifty. I don't food, even know. Like when, always when I do it I have the resources. Yeah, because it's that not expensive like, at all. Yeah, mid mid imperial age. Well considering the fact that Doubt has fifteen hundred wood, fifteen hundred food, he can afford it no matter what it costs. When Doubt is now going for his gold spot and remember he still had this extra gold spot. This is now getting claimed by Mr. Yo, and Mr. Yo wasn't going for his third gold spot either. So both players still now. with potential. Because look, Yo has no gold at the moment. Yo's eco just too weak and it feels a bit like Doubt is finally pushing this. He just have had so many more ramps with his better eco. Could you count the castles of Mr. Yo, please? It feels like he is only having four castles here or something like that. And um, according to the spec overlay, Yo has four castles and Dad has three. But mm. this one on the front, this is about to die. That's going to make it three all. Should be even out now indeed. Oh, but that's the sweet rating here by Mr. Yo. He was actually going for lots of rating and trying to go for the main that's the castle. That's the king's castle. That's the king's castle indeed. Unfortunately, there's no plumb archers there to take advantage of it, but... And now it's uh, the start castle of Yo as well. And Doubt is ahead by 50 pop. He is pushing in here. How did he do that? He had such a problem the whole early Imperial late, but just his better eco there, giving him the advantage to get more ramps and push all the areas. And Yo, Yo is just struggling. Well, at the moment, Doubt has about 13 extra rams than Mr. Yo does. Oh god, that's so much, and I'm not sure like how many plumes you need to have to just even that out. That out. I, I think that's not even possible. You need at least a hundred plumed archers. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. That's not possible at this stage of the game. Yeah, we're at 80 and 65 military, so that's kind of reasonable. But 49 villagers only for Mr. Yo now, and it's it's not getting higher. It's getting lower because more raids coming in so the gold spots. Look at this as well. This is so oh, great, micro out. Villages. At the moment, Yo does have a lot of gold. But he doesn't really have any villages to make make more siege workshops. He's not queuing up the castles as well. He's only got two castles left. He can't make that many plumed archers. Only got two castles left indeed. And oh god, look at this that ram is, train that again. Is a ram train. There's no plumed archers there though. But are they important? Well, Rams it's still can just go. extra damage. <laughs> yeah. You're now trying to find some kills here. Take a look and again, Doubt is just reclaiming the scores. He's playing this so clever. Yo's raid will get shut down as well here. And now it's Rams kissing Rams. Doubt, let's see if he's expanding to the other side as well. This monastery is pretty exposed. Doubt, although he had a nice positioning there, is repositioning his plumed archer still doing some more raids at the right hand side. And that is a bad fight for Mr. Yo. Even, Even with the hill advantage, he just doesn't have the numbers. And there's going to be siege rams popping out of those siege workshops in just a moment. Doubt should producing out of those. And the middle is just looking so good for Doubt. He's taking a serious score lead now and seven pop 70 population lead as well with it. That is amazing. Oh, Doubt actually has lost that fight on the right hand side. Okay, so it seems like some more army came up there. And, and, and in the north, Yo. Get in there, get past the town center, kill the castle. 
Probably not, yeah. And now, Doubt is pushing on the left-hand side, going for the Monastery and the Gold. Oh, now selling more wood. Doubt is going for the long run. He is getting himself some more gold, although he is getting gold over here and at those extra gold spots as well. Yo is just struggling so much. Yo at pop 95 and he's not looking happy. No, we can roll. We're at trying. the moment, Dow has doubled the number of rams. It's 7 to 3. I'm not I good know. at math, but that feels like it's even more than double. And people are clapping. This is the GG and... What a great game there by Dowd, and he's shaking, uh, like nodding his hand. As why his sponsor, although his man lost, pretty happy. He's always Oh, yeah, it just doubt slowly started gaining a little bit of damage. Like, it's pretty much dead even for the entirety of the game until about the 40 minute mark. And then it just starts slowly creeping up. So true, and Yo just not getting it anymore. And the eco part was just so much bigger. That's oh, like yeah, the, so right, the light red. Oh, getting wait. Taking off villages we, we, we should have shown it in the overlay. So. Uh, as we wanted to say, like at the 40 minute mark, like the light red was so much more than the light blue here. And yeah, great move. And oops, that's an interesting flag here. That's not very much better. But yeah. Okay, so the score is 1 2. That means. Doubt is advancing into the semi-finals to it. actually face Riot. So, all Tyrant semi-finals there. Sick move. And now Very the good games. Very good games indeed. Um, Ghost Lake was entertaining as well. Oh, all the games are pretty good. The Arabia one was a nice aggressive move as well. I'm not sure how he is still doing it. He's kind of old age. Yeah, but as we saw, he won plus the Hippo. Maybe he's going to win this one for the on tournament as well. Is this the rise of doubt? Winning this one could be the second biggest achievement of his lifetime. Second biggest? What do you think the biggest is? Plus the Hippo? Mm. You said it. I did say it. Okay, so not really sure what match will be next. Let's take a look at the bracket. It is not updated, obviously, now. Riot advanced against them. Doubt is advancing against Yo. Jigwa is still playing against Fire. I can we see are, Fire I think we're playing be there. Streaming that, or are we going to wait for? Uh, we we could jump into that. Let's see if they're playing. Yeah, oh, there's no streamer though, so we no, can't join the game. No stream. Uh, that's that is unfortunate. And let me see. The viper. Did he already play? Did viper play already? Viper played already. One to zero. He won to zero. Okay. Every bracket says one. Okay, so it will be at least three tyrants in the semi-finals and then we have to see if Jinghua is trying to advance against Fire or if Fire is making an all tyrant tournament. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all tyrants. Oh. Well, it is all tyrants. Well, they want to come a Yes. <laughs> yeah, but well, that is what, what, are, what, are we, what are we playing? 
Okay, so I think we will just see if we can jump into the next fire against. You just this need to. S or are we just gonna wait for semi final? Because oh, I think they're the already into the third game. I think. We will see, we will see, but we will keep you updated, guys. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you. 